Hi, I'm Dr. Friedman. Today we're going to talk about scales and scale degrees. We're going to start with the key of C, C major, and you'll notice that C is always to the left of the two black keys. So you find the two black keys, go slightly to the left. The white note to the left of the two black keys is C. There are a lot of different C's along the piano keyboard. You can find as many as you like on yours to see how many C's you have on your keyboard. So C is to the left of the two black keys. And then we go up the alphabet. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And we find ourselves back here at C. So we're going to use this scale because this is, uh, C is the most uh, important tone in Western music. And the C scale, as you find it on the white keys, forms what we call a major scale. We'll talk about what makes a major scale another time, but let's just understand that we're going to work in C and starting in C. So C is the first degree of the scale. And we're going to use scale degrees uh, to describe which notes are on what scale degree. So the C is the first degree of the scale. D is the second degree of the scale. E is the third, F, fourth. G, fifth degree of the scale. A is the sixth degree of the scale. B is the seventh degree of the scale. And C, again, is the first degree of the scale repeating, or what we call the distance between this C and this C, is an octave. When we use this scale, we just use only the white keys starting and ending on C. That is what a C major scale is. We can build chords starting on scale degrees. So if I started on the first degree of a scale in C, I can build a chord. The chord we're going to use is what's called a triad. A triad means three, three notes. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to start with one note and skip a note and then skip a note again, and we get a triad. This may sound familiar to you. So we have a triad on C. And this is on the first degree of the scale. Well, we can build a triad on the second degree of the scale. And when we play them together, that is our triad of D. It's D minor, and we'll talk more about that another time. And then we have E, this triad is E minor, and then on F, F major, G major, A minor, and this B triad is somewhat special. It's called diminished, and this is C, C major again. So the short story is you can build a triad on any scale degree, and this on the first degree of the scale we call the one chord. We build it on the first degree of the scale. What if I built a chord on the fourth degree of the scale? Well, I would start on F, which is the fourth degree of the scale in C. And that is the four chord. And if I built a five chord, I would build a five chord here. And then what if I went back to a four chord? So what we're creating when you string chords together are called chord progressions on scale degrees. The one chord, the four chord, the five chord, to the four chord. This might sound very familiar to you because it's one of the more common, the most common chord progression, as we call it, that is available and around in Western music. It's especially uh, common in music from the 1950s, American and English popular music, or what we call rock and roll.